The most complex systems you can think of are nothing compared to the global energy system. Really. And we have never been asked to replace and redo anything like that, really. So it just simply it just is the nature of complex systems that they cannot be saved or solved by one simple action. Tomorrow, somebody will just totally free solar electricity. But that solar electricity is not good to make plate glass. For plate glass, I need lots of direct heat. And this is why it's good to burn lots of uh, natural gas, right? Every bit of food you eat now, every daily product is pasteurized, right? Heated to 72 degrees Celsius, right? Well, it's best done with, uh, it could be done with electricity, but hot water is much better to have. Right? In complex system, there is no simple, single solution. So we should be doing many things, you know, inventing new gizmos, inventing new gadgets, but improving efficiency, and yes, adapting as much as we could, of course. Today, we have a considerably sizable hydrogen industry around the world. We produce about 90 million tons of hydrogen, but all of that nitrogen, hydrogen is committed. It goes into production of nitrogen fertilizers, it goes into refining. We have no free hydrogen to be given away for people now live in cities. If you would ask people and ask people how much food do we produce around the world, you know, how much grain we harvest around the world. Besides some agricultural specialists, I have yet to meet anybody who can tell me how much grain we produce per year. By the way, it's about 3 billion tons, okay? This is what we need to feed over, just grain, just wheat and corn and rice and uh, you know, not other products, not potatoes and not your sugar and whatever. This is the world which we live in, 3 billion tons of grain. Ukraine thing happened and people talk about uh, there is a fear that there will not be enough grain in Egypt or Africa, which are importing grain from Ukraine and Russia, right? What does it take to import that grain? Well, you must have a ship which carries about 50 million tons, which means we have a fleet of hundreds and hundreds of ships which will load that grain, 10,000, 20,000 tons of it, and bring it to Africa. So again, we have to have the whole system. So everything requires, you know, many inputs into that system. So everything takes time to put it in place consumes as, as little as you can in a society which is built on the premise that we should all consume as much as we can to keep the economy growing. Because remember, right, the economists are always concerned about one thing, healthy GDP growth rate. Have you ever heard an economist, you know, next year US must decline by 5% GDP, <laughs> that would be great. We love that idea. Have you heard the president saying, please elect me, I will bring the GDP down. Every year of my presidency, I'll bring the GDP down by at least 2%, if not 5%. You know very well, this is, this is lunatic, right? Our economic system is totally based on a constant increase, constant growth. And constant growth requires constant increased consumption because you know very well now, GDP, 70% in, in rich countries is driven by personal consumption. We just buy stuff there, right? So I would tell people, buy as little as you can. Don't buy a single SUV. Most people around the world don't realize that in US, the number one best-selling vehicle is not even a car. It's a pickup truck, Ford F-150, which weighs close to two tons or more than two tons. Three. So, you know, how can you advise people to use less when the, the presidents, the economies, uh, the economies, uh, the ethos of the day tells them to consume ever more, really, right? So uh, we have record oil prices. We have record prices for the airline tickets. And people are flying like there is no tomorrow there, right? You know, people want to consume more. And then forget about the rich people. And there are people in the poor world who don't even have a drinking glass or a simple furnace uh, to cook a, a simple stove to cook a decent dinner. So uh, the world is bent on consuming more. So we could do a lot more as individuals, but it's not going to happen.